I just, we just want her home. We're so scared and we miss her so much and we love her so much. And Kylie, we love you. And if you see this, please just, please just come home. I want nothing more than to hug you. And if, if anybody else out there, if you know where she is, if you know anything about where she might be, if you have any ideas or, or thoughts, please, um, please come forward and share them. And, and we're not looking to like bust anybody else or get anybody in trouble. We just want to see our daughter home. Hey, what's up, it's Mel. Welcome back to the channel. And we're going to be talking about this missing 16 year old Kylie Rodney from Chucky, California. She went missing August 6th. There was a party going on near this Prosser family campground. And the area where the party was going on is called the Sanctuary. And it's known for like high school kids going there and like drinking, partying, taking substances. Local young people call this open area near the Prosser family campground the Sanctuary. It's a common place for parties. And this party was supposedly a farewell celebration, according to the mother from several high schools in different communities like North Lake Tahoe, Reno, Truckee, Sparks, Auburn. And the numbers that I saw first about how many kids were at this party was like between 100 and 150, but that number has gone up. And they're saying about 200 to 250 people attended that party. Who last spoke to or saw Kylie that's confirmed? Well, I saw an article from Fox 32 that said, at 12:15, Kylie had texted her mother saying that she was on her way home. And I also saw a news clip from the mother stating that when Kylie was leaving, she had told her to like, when you get home, wake me up in the morning. She was reported missing Saturday morning after she didn't come home from a party. I asked her to wake me up when she got home, like she always does. And she said, okay, and thanks mama, love you. And that's the last I ever heard from her. Another person. And we believe that as of now, this might be one of the last confirmed people that she spoke to that we know of is a friend named Samantha Smith. Sammy Smith, one of Kylie's good friends, is organizing crews of community members who are looking for the teen across the Tahoe region. And uh, this call took place around 12.36 a.m. This friend was actually there at the party with her as well. And they both spoke on the phone saying, I love you, good night, and get home safe. So this is where everybody's hanging out. Kylie and I were meeting up right here a lot. Young people call this open area the sanctuary. Sammy says she was here with Kylie Friday night, along with tons of other high school and college kids from the Bay Area all the way to Nevada. The Independent actually says that they spoke to the friend, Samantha, and one of the things is they said the spokesperson for the sheriff's office, they couldn't confirm whether Samantha was the last person to speak to Kylie, but said that shortly after midnight, her phone was turned off. So her phone is disconnected. Samantha said she arrived at the bonfire around 9 p.m. on Friday and Kylie got there about an hour later. We have been close friends since before, so we ended up meeting with each other, sort of screaming to each other, hi, for the rest of the party. We pretty much stuck to each other. But as the gathering grew bigger, the teenagers went separate ways while continuing to see each other sporadically throughout the night. I knew it was a big party, but it was supposed to be just the community. The party started to grow past the number of people that were supposed to be there, Samantha said. There were college kids and people from the Bay Area coming, and I got a bad feeling about it, but didn't really think much of it. Samantha said that around 11 p.m., they went to Kylie's car to charge their phones and arrange for Kylie to give her a ride home. However, she changed her mind later when she saw that Kylie was clearly intoxicated, Samantha said. Right now, we believe that this is an abduction case. She was in no state to drive, and she wouldn't have made it that far or would have crashed. The teenagers said goodbye to each other around 12.25 a.m., but Kylie called Samantha while she was riding with a friend. That was the last known call Kylie made, Samantha claimed. Kylie was supposed to meet friends on Saturday morning to go on a hike, but did not show up. The other interesting thing down here, it says she was described by her friends as someone who enjoys singing and meeting new people. She's a great singer and she loves to go out and do things that are adventurous. She loves going on road trips. The other thing as of recording this, I don't know what it's going to be tomorrow. Her vehicle has still not been found. Her Honda CRV 2013. What she and Kylie's family want to know is how no one saw her leave in her silver Honda CRV. Her car is still missing. I can't believe it. There has to have been one person. There are people sitting in cars. There are people everywhere around this place. The other little snippet is that, so she went missing or was last seen at the Prosser family campground, the sanctuary. 
her family about 12 miles away, they run a small hotel. It's called the Lost Trail Lodge. And I don't know, it's kind of close by. My head is uh, all over the place and, and terrified. Bad thoughts are very strong and hard to keep at bay. But I'm trying to hold out hope, you know, that, that we'll find her, that she'll come home. So a couple of links that I'm going to post down below for you guys that are good, important links to follow. And by the way, please hit like, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, helps out the channel. And if you like the pre-recorded videos, comment below, let me know that you like that or you still prefer lives or a mix of both. Uh, I appreciate that. And so this is the official Instagram page. Uh, you can go there for like meet meetups, up to date meetups. So uh, tomorrow, this is posted two hours ago tonight, like right now, my time. Um, they're going to have a meetup at the Truckee Rec Center. So if you're looking for updates like that, Instagram's a good place to go. There's also a GoFundMe. I'll put the link down below. They've raised 19000 They're doing really well. And so uh, it says, with the consent of Kylie's parents, I'm starting a GoFundMe to help increase the reward for her return. Um, it says that it's at 5000 but when I looked up on another web updated website, it says it's at 50,000. I don't know. There's a $50,000 reward that I saw. The other thing I'm going to put in the links is this is a, a search party report form. And so like, uh, if you want to sign up to search, uh, or whatever, I, I guess you can sign up here. I'll put the link down below. One of the things that I was told about this and I've seen online from police law enforcement and just other people on social media is that there haven't been many people coming forward and they're just letting People know families, kids that were at this event, they don't care if you were doing drinking, underage drinking or whatever, taking substances. I've been there myself, not at that age, but I've been there myself. They just want to find this girl. Uh, any pictures, videos, information that you have that you can uh, give to police or maybe family, whatever makes you comfortable, or even submit it anonymously, whatever that can provide some information about Kylie is just really important. And just a little like overview. You know, this is California and it borders with Nevada. And so like, there's just a lot going on at the border location. This probably just makes the search with very little information, super complicated. Her phone last pinged, I believe at the party or from what I was told, her phone hasn't been found. Her vehicle is not found as of recording this. It's a pretty big area um, and just pretty st strange. I, I also heard that they're not ruling out other things as well. Like if she ran away or whatever, or like, you know, but the reason that they're ruling this, like, or going as an abduction is because her vehicle hasn't been found. That's what I've heard on the media. If there's anybody local or somebody that wants to like share information with me or even come on and make a video that can provide more information, reach out to me, Facebook, uh, email, whatever. And, uh, yeah, hit like subscribe, turn on bell notifications. If you like these kind of videos, I appreciate it. Take care and peace. Adios.